Hi, I'm Luke Edwards from Korg UK, here to show you the Korg Chrome workstation. It's our brand new workstation, it comes in three sizes, 61 key like this one, 73 notes and also 88 key with weighted keys. It's a workstation so we've got loads of great sounds inside, we can layer sounds together and we've also got a sequencer. So it's great in the studio but also for live. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is the new Korg Chrome. Uh, we've got a workstation here, three main modes, program mode, for single sounds, combi, which stands for combination, for um, layering sounds together or splitting the keyboard into different sections, and sequence mode for sequencing. So, we're in program mode, first of all. We're going to look at the, some of the sounds. The way to select your sounds, you just go to the category at the top, and then you've got categories down the left, categories down the right, and then use the wheel in the middle or touch the screen to select your sound. The several sounds here derive from Kronos, hence the KR in the, in the name of Chrome, and um, one of the main ones is the piano here. This is a Chrome Grand Piano. Now we've got completely uncompressed and full length samples at very many different velocity layers. In fact, the, the PCM ROM in here is four gigabytes, uh, which is um, vastly superior to anything we've ever made before. So at this level, we've got pianos from here, from uh, the Kronos. We've also got electric pianos. Now you notice it says knob three there in the display, which means this knob, th knob three here will add an effect of some sort. In this case, it's a phaser. We've also got a drum track built in. That's a drum machine. So every single sound I come to will have a drum pattern. Another sound derived from the Kronos is this drum kit, which is fantastic. It's called a Jazz Dry Stroke Ambience Kit, but it's not necessarily just a jazz kit. The, um, the power of it really lies in this screen where we've got two oscillators and we can isolate them. So one is a very close mic kit. The other one is mic'd with overheads, so it's much more ambient sounding. And then, of course, we can mix them together and then introduce any element of each oscillator we like. So we can have a completely close mic, combination of the two, or completely ambient. So, got great drum sounds. String sounds. Again, going back to the knobs, knob 4 is always reverb. So we want to introduce some more reverb, we can just dial it in very easily. Of course, we've also got an arpeggiator in here. So let's dial up a sound, which we can show that with, maybe a bass synth. You can also edit your sounds in real time using the knobs. So if I just sw switch that up to tone, I can now change the filter, cut off from resonance. Let's turn on the arpeggiator. Again, every single sound will have an arpeggiator pattern associated with it. Add some drums.
Okay, connections on the back, we've got USB, so you can connect to a computer very easily, which will be um, used to use it as a MIDI controller and also to use the editor, which is coming out soon. And that's an SD card slot to, to select, uh, to <laughs> that's an SD card slot to use an SD card for backing up data. So got the power input first of all, the power switch of course, these are the stereo outputs left and right. And you've got three pedal outputs. One is for the damper, and the other two are assignable out for things like volume and uh, switches and so on. Then you've got your customary MIDI in and out. Combi mode stands for combination. Set the screen looks like this. We've got 16 parts. So essentially we've got 16 of these programs which we can layer and split as we need. This is the first example, piano and strings, just a, a simple layer. And I can go to my mixer. And I can edit, say, the level of the strings, for example. And this screen is great because it supports dragging commands, so I can move anything that I want to just by dragging on the screen. Combinations really designed for performance, so it allows me great flexibility. I can have different zones or splits. Here what I've done is I've selected a few different sounds and stacked them on top of each other to create a big wall of sound. So I've got strings, um, guitars, horns, uh, bass, lower down, and also some drums coming in. I can also use the combi in a different way. So I can go and say, I want to have different sounds layered together, but at different pitches as well. So here's an example of that. So I've got my classic kind of super saw lead, but I can play more than one note at once by stacking them at different intervals. And then of course I can add the drum track as well. Combi mode is also great for orchestral type sounds because it's very easy to stack lots of sounds together and make them dynamic. And also introduce what we call velocity switching, which means depending on how hard I hit the keyboard, we'll get different sounds coming in and out. Nice legato sound. If I dig into the keys a bit more, I get a bit more um, ferocity. And then if I really go for it, I get the full blown orchestral sound like that. Great for playing stuff like this. I can also add a drum, drum track and play along with my orchestral drums. What's great is a nice legato sound. If I dig into the keys a bit more, inspiration by entering the sequence mode just by holding down enter and record. And that can be from combi or program mode. It'll say set it record, are you sure? OK. And now I'm ready to record. Two bars in. Now I've captured that as a, as a recording. And I can then go in and do what I want with the sounds. 
go into the mixer, change the levels. If I want to take a different approach to recording, I can load a template song and completely start from scratch. So um, what I'm going to do is load a template song and these templates can be all different genres or presets or they could be your own. I've got an 80s kind of setup here so what I've also done is I've split the keyboard into different zones so I can do everything in one take if I want to. I've got my drum kit, I've got a bass, I've got a synth, I've got a guitar, I've got a, another synth at the top there. I'm going to, in my preferences I'm going to go to loop all tracks and have a four bar loop which means it will just keep looping around those four bars and I can add um, parts at will. Now we've captured that four bar loop, we can go and edit it. So we can go into track edit, we can see an overview of what we've, re what we've recorded. We've even got um, piano roll, so we can go in and see in more detail what we've recorded on the touch screen. We can zoom right in if we want to, we can even drag things around, change velocities, we can even draw in velocity sweeps, and so on. If it is a drum part, we can see it as drum notation, which sometimes is clearer. And once we're done, we can save it all to an SD card, which we can just slot straight in. And we can save in Korg's own format or a standard MIDI file, which is then compatible with anything else out there if you need to transfer your music easily.